Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is another installment in the cruelty free guide playlist that I'm working on with five other YouTubers. This month is Jackie's idea, Jax the Rain here on YouTube, and her idea for this video is to talk about products that we bring with us throughout the day. I think she refers to them as daily drivers. These are products that I carry with me, especially when I leave the house. I keep them in my backpack and I take them with me as I go through life, usually when I'm just going to work. So I have like 10 or so makeup products here. The majority of them are lip products. I feel like that's gonna be the same for most people. The very first product is dry shampoo. It's actually a powder. This is the Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Dry Shampoo from Shea Moisture. This is just the one that I keep in my bag because it's very small and it has a really great cap that you can twist and then you can seal it so that it doesn't leak in your bag but if you're looking for a really good powder dry shampoo i'd recommend the cake beauty one that one is really soft and finely milled it smells very gentle it's not like overpowering and they have different shade shades of powder for different hair colors so i'd recommend trying out that one over this one but i do like keeping it in my backpack just in case i'm like halfway through the day and i look like a greasy mess and i need to do something about it next product is a hand cream and this is the trader joe's ultra moisturizing hand cream and this is amazing. It comes in kind of like a metal type of tin. And I like it because a cap is very sturdy on it. I don't feel like this is just going to pop open and leak all over my bag. And I like that it's in a metal container so that it's a little bit more malleable. And I just really like the formula of this. If you're the type of person who hates gre greasy feeling or waxy feeling hand creams, this is nice. You apply a little bit, you give it like 30 seconds to sink into your skin and it doesn't feel like there's anything on your skin. It just feels softer. So this is nice especially if I'm washing my hands a lot throughout the day or something like that. It's good to have something like this so that my hands don't get too dry. Some more things concerning hair. I have a little mini wet brush. I just keep this in my bag in case I like forget to brush my hair in the morning, which I do all the time. And then I also have like a clip, claw clip, and then a hair elastic as well, just in case I want to get it out of my face. Now for the actual makeup. The first one I want to talk about is the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. It's waterproof and it says it's transparent, but it is like a very light powder. If you have darker skin, that's definitely going to show up on your skin. When I bought this, I hadn't even heard anything about it. It was just cheap and it looked like this packaging was sturdy and I like that it had a mirror in it. That was really like my main requirement for this. The packaging is very sturdy. I don't feel like this is going to break. I've accidentally dropped this like on my desk or on my table multiple times. It's never broken and the mirror is nice. I just like it. It's very affordable and it works really nicely. And the brush I use it with is this e.l.f. brush. It's not labeled. If I can find the name for this, I'll link it below, but it's just really nice to bring with me so I can touch up and powder my face throughout the day. I typically use the e.l.f. mattifying blotting papers. I use them up and I haven't repurchased them yet. And for now I don't need them because in my car I have a little um, travel size tissue container. It's like round and it's supposed to fit in your cup holder but I just leave it in my glove compartment. And I use that to blot my face if I'm like super oily instead of using paper. So I think I'm just gonna keep using that for now. But something to blot the oils from my skin is definitely a must for me, especially in the summer. And the rest are lip products. I have five lip products to share. The first one I'm not gonna get into super detail because you've heard about it at least a million times on my channel. It's the NYX hashtag this is everything lip loving balm. This is actually a fresh one because I recently used up the other one that I had. I always have a backup of this on me and I just like carrying it with me throughout the day. Very moisturizing, really great product. I have the It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi Lip Flush and this one is almost empty. A little sneak peek for my next project pan update. I ended up losing this for like eight months and then it finally came back into my life so I put it in a project pan to make sure that I finished it before it expired because I had I didn't have it for so long. If I hadn't have lost it for eight months, it would have already been in my bag. It's something that I love carrying with me. It has a little bit of a tint so I can easily reapply it if I'm going out and I'm going out to eat or getting some drinks or something. This is really nice to keep on because it does add a little bit of a tint to my lips, but it's very moisturizing and easy to reapply. Two more lip products like that are from Catrice. They are the volumizing lip balms. I just realized I have three Catrice products in here. This one is in Beautiful Lips and this one is in Graceful Lips. They are the same formula, one is just a little bit lighter. If you can see, I'm, I'm just digging out product out of this one, and I have another one to replace it. It's very moisturizing and nude, but it kind of blanks out my lips a little bit. It makes them look lighter, so it's nice when I have 
heavier eye makeup on and I want something to go with that. But if I want something that's a lot more true to my lip color, I'll go for the shade Graceful Lips. This is very true to my lip color, but it's got a little bit more of maybe a peachy undertone. So if I'm going for like a cooler look, I'll go for this one. If I'm going for something warmer or more neutral, I'll go for this one. I think I talked about these in one of my videos for this playlist. I think in my drugstore best 10 under 10. This is definitely one of my favorite 10 under 10 products. And the very last one is a lipstick. I like to keep at least one lipstick with me. Right now my lipstick of choice is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a very creamy formula so it's something I can easily reapply throughout the day. I've been going to a lot of showers like I had a bridal shower two weeks ago, a baby shower last week and it's just nice whenever you're going to events like that it's nice to have a lipstick that you can easily reapply throughout the day. So that is my last makeup product. These are products that I think are very necessary for me to bring with me throughout the day and they make my look last longer. Like a lot of these are just upkeep. And I really liked the idea for this video and I would be really curious to know what are some products that you bring with you and you like to have on you at all times? What are your daily drivers that are in your collection? Jackie, this was such a good idea for a video. I really enjoyed filming it and I'm excited to see what everybody else considers their daily drivers. I will have the community playlist and everyone's channel linked below. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video.